right hello everyone hope you're having a great day hope your week is going very well for you so far and what you're looking at is a blank screen oh yeah baby <laughs> this is Franken window manager and it it was derived out of monster window manager and I think my last video I did a quick overview of monster window manager and somehow on another partition that I was running monster on I managed to kill the monster <laughs> so that led me to search for uh, you know something similar something something a little more monstrous and I found Franken window manager and I have to say this window manager has become I'm putting myself out on a limb here it has become my preferred tiling window manager I've used i3 I've used awesome I've used Spectre I've used BSP, uh, BSPWM and a couple of others in the past and just to be honest none of them none of them really ever sit well with me uh, I know I've put out Mio Linux versions of i3 and awesome and I was I was happy with that but something about tiling window managers never really sit well with me and here lately I've been kind of exploring and I have come across monster and I loved monster very simple very small you know uh, DWM based on the suckless philosophy tries to keep their code under 2,000 lines I believe it is well monster is under 700 <laughs> lines of code <laughs> and like I said I don't know what I did to monster but I completely destroyed it and now I'm on Franken window manager which according to the website on github for Franken window manager is the bastard child <laughs> of monster <laughs> so while I was using uh, Franken window manager I, I had some issues trying to figure out how to get things auto started and I came up with two solutions one was to make an X and it RC file or a script Exonet RC, and I could get all the options that I wanted started and start Franken. But when I did it that way, I didn't have a mouse. And although Franken is basically designed to be a keyboard driven window manager, I still do like to use the mouse. And the mouse would show up after I finally opened a few things and it would <laughs> it would be that big large ugly X like the X cursor I don't know what you call it the other way that I found to do it I made a script and I made a desktop file for it and put it in user share X sessions and that way I was able to choose it from my uh, light DM screen so with with the X and it RC I'm able to boot into it everything starts up right off the bat except the mouse cursor <laughs> by uh, dropping back down to TTY1 and using start X however with uh, adding the uh, desktop file to X sessions I made a script for that and now all I have to do is perform a key bind that I made to start everything up that I want to start so let's get into it
and here we go. Wow. <laughs> All right. Here we have it. Now I'm still trying to learn all of the key binds and this is not all of them but I made a conky <clears throat> with a background transparent so that I could uh, look at those and be able to see some of the key binds as I'm trying to learn them. This bar along the top is XMO bar and I know some people really like to decorate their bars up but you know, I like to keep things pretty simple. I've got just the information that I really want, my battery, my RAM, and my CPU, which is really high right now for some reason. I have the current weather conditions, which I thought that was a nice, uh, that was a nice addition to XMO bar. And I have the date and time. All right, let's get into it. I'm not going to spend much more time on this. I don't want to bore you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of give some some of the features here of Franken Window Manager. If you want a nice window manager, a nice tiling window manager that's easy to use. Now I say easy. It took me a while to figure some things out especially making some key binds <laughs> uh, but Franken Window Manager might be for you and like I said earlier this has probably become my preferred tiling window manager I absolutely love it alright now you get D menu out of the box and if you see it there on the top I just Hit the key bind for it. I'm going to close it. I added a keyboard shortcut for P menu. Because sometimes I'm lazy and I just want to have a graphical menu. So there it is, <laughs> P menu. So let's get into this. Let's look at some of the different layouts.
this, there you go. <laughs> I don't know how much that may have interested you. Uh, key binds are pretty straightforward, very easy. Everything is in one. Uh, let's see, everything's in one configuration file. I'll show that to you real quick. Let me turn on hidden files. Now this is where I put uh, my folder, Frankenwim. Everything is right here in this one folder. I mean this one file. Let me send that to a different desktop. And anytime you make any key binds or anything like that, anytime you change this file, you need to run the following. Let me go back to number one. Open up a terminal wherever you have saved that folder and run sudo make clean install. And you saw some things go on there in the uh, file manager. Everything's going good. So that's it. This is Franken file manager. I mean Franken window manager. <laughs> and I really I am really impressed with it. It's very simple, very easy to use. And as far as a tiling window manager, I've never tried any tiling window manager that I personally like better. I thought Monster was going to be my go-to until I killed the monster. But after killing the monster <laughs> and trying Franken, I'm glad I did because I really, really enjoy using this. It's, it's just a great tiling window manager. Really great. All right, that's it. I'm sorry if I bored you guys. I hope you guys have a great uh, week coming up and take care. Thanks.